Hey everyone, today I did a look using silvers. Um, this is good for going out to a club or for the holidays or to go out to a nice dinner. And it's just a silver lid with some darker silver in the crease and a little bit of black, some cream eyeliner, a dusty rose um, cheek, and neutral lips. And you can also add instead of a neutral lip you can have a red lip but I just chose for the neutral lip and I've been wanting to do this look forever and this is the third time recording so that being that being said I hope you enjoy this look and if you want to learn how to do this keep on watching so prior to filming I primed my eye which is a silver base and this is just a cream eyeshadow and it's silver. Um, I'm pretty sure you can use a black base. Well, any base that you want. And <coughs> I'm going to be using my 88 Shimmer Palette. And we're going to be taking the lightest silver color right there. And we're also going to be using this silver color too. So we're going to make it half and half. Half light, well, inner third, and then the rest, that darkest silver color. So I'm going to take my small shader brush. And get some of that color. And go put it on the inner third. Just put a little bit on. <coughs> you're going to take the other side of that brush. And you're going to take that dark, the third silver down. And you're going to put it all over the lid, the rest of the lid. And you're going to pack that on to have the most opaque look to it. And if you want, you can blend it in. So now your lid is going to be really shimmery. Um, you're going to take that middle color and just blend those two colors in. If there's a harsh line, I know it's silver and you can't really tell, but just to be on the safe side. Okay, now taking a large shader brush like that, I'm going to be taking this um, steel gray color. I don't know the name of it because it came out of a palette that I um, um, had before, but this was the only one that survived. But it's just a really pretty color. And it just looks like that. And you're going to put it in your crease area. And blend. I'm going to blend that in and I will be right back. And dip it into the black color. Now you can use a, a matte black or you can use a shimmery black. I'm using a shimmery black from the um, ADH Shimmer Palette. And I'm just adding it to my crease. 
and you don't want it to be dominant, you just want to add a hint of definition to your crease. I'm just using my LA Colors um, Auto Liner in black. You just want to make sure that it is dark enough so your eyeshadow doesn't overwhelm it. And I'm going to take this steely, this steel color again, and I'm taking my pencil brush. I'm just going to dip it in and connect it, and bring it to your lower lash line. Like I said, this this look is good for the holac. To it. And then you want to add um, that lightest silver gray color and blend it all in. And if you want to go, if you want to go ahead and add that steely color again, I think that's what I'm going to name it, steel, since I don't know the name of it. Okay, and then for a highlight, I'm just going to add my face powder, just And it's not going to give off too much color, but it's just going to smooth out and bring milk together. And for mascara, I'm just using my NYC Waterproof. on your lower lash line and I'm going to take care of that and do my cream eyeliner which I'm using my N Wet n Wild cream liner in black and I will be right back blush and Riverside Rose from NYC so now for lips <clears throat> you can either wear a red lip or you can wear a neutral lip and I'm just going with the neutral lip today so I'm going to use my Maybelline um, Wet Shine Diamonds Lipstick in New Glow. It's just that pink color. And... I'm gonna pair it with my LA Colors Moisturizer Lip Gloss and Happiness. It's just a really nice neutral apricot color. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this look. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you later.